Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to talk about wall anchors. And we've got a variety of wall anchors here. We've got our stud finder, we've got screws. And some of the, the questions that we're going to answer for you today is what types of wall anchors are there? What type of wall anchor would you use if you had a sheetrock wall or paneling? What type of wall anchor would you use in concrete or a brick wall? Uh, if you have a place where you can find a stud in your wall, what do you do then? But well, these are the different types of anchors that you might use for a heavy, photo, uh, heavy picture or hanging uh, a shelf in your house. Uh, we're going to be installing this clip rack later in our garage. We'll be showing this. You know, when you hang things like this, you need something better than just a small nail or a little screw because they just don't hold securely. And these wall anchors will make things hang a lot more securely. So in moving forward, uh, like I said, these are typical wall anchors. There, there's a lot of different types, but these are some of the most common kind. Uh, this is just a small plastic one. Basically, you drill a hole in the wall. It can be in sheetrock. It can be in uh, the thicker paneling. Don't use these in the thin paneling. It's just too thin. Uh, but if it's the thick uh, hardwood paneling, you can use these, or you can use them in brick. But you drill a hole first. You push this into the hole. And you drill a hole just a hair smaller than this thing so when it goes in, it goes in tight. And then you would use a screw, something like this. Uh, and when you put the screw in there, you use the screw to mount whatever you're trying to mount to the wall. And as it goes into the plastic anchor, it expands out the anchor a little bit, which makes it even tighter in the hole that you drilled. And that's how these work. They work very well, particularly in uh, sheetrock and concrete brickwork, things of that nature. Uh, now these screws uh, are very similar. They work in a very similar way, similar applications. It's just a little different design. But here again, you drill a hole for it that's just a hair smaller than the diameter of the plastic here. Then when you push it in, it becomes tight in the hole. When you put the screw in it to mount whatever you're mounting, the screw causes the plastic to expand out a little bit, makes it even tighter, makes a good strong mount for you. Now if you look at this one, uh, the threads on the outside stick out really far. These are more for sheetrock, and these you can put in sheetrock without drilling a hole. Uh, you do have to have a screwdriver, uh, but you can spin that into the sheetrock and it makes its hole as it goes in. These large threads just kind of create its own threads in the sheetrock, and they hold pretty well. Uh, there, it's a pretty good sheetrock kind of anchor. I wouldn't, these will not work well in brick. They do not work well in your thin paneling. And it's not really necessary if you have the thick paneling. Uh, now these I particularly like. Uh, these you can use in sheetrock or paneling, either one. And the way it works, you drill a hole for it that this whole thing will go into. you got a screw that you unscrew from the end, but when you screw this screw in, this part here spreads out. And it spreads out behind the wall so it can't come back out. And uh, they're really good for sheetrock. They're really good for your paneling, whether it be thick or thin paneling, they work really well. And some of them like this one, the way the end is made on this one, you actually can drive that through sheetrock without drilling a hole for it. In some applications and with some different uh, wall hanger or wall anchors like this, you will need to drill a hole first. But there are some like this that are made where you can just take a hammer and tap it through the sheetrock. Um, and then there's this style. Now these, you have to drill a hole. There's no question, you have to drill a hole. And you drill it big enough that when this is closed up, it can go in through the hole. And when it goes through the hole of the wall, it spreads out. When you tighten the screw down, these come in against the wall. It makes a very strong uh, wall anchor for you. I really like these, they work really well. Um, and so anyway, uh, that's the basic anchors that you will find. Like I said, there's a lot of different kinds, but these are the more common kinds. Uh, we also have, you know, just some longer screws. If you've got the thick paneling, and um, and when I'm talking about thick paneling, I'm talking about a, the paneling that's like a half to three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, you can use just a regular uh, wood screw on those. They work pretty well. Or if you're in a situation where you can find the studs in your walls and you can put the screws in where the studs are at so they go into the stud, um, that just a regular wood screw will work for your wall anchor. Uh, this is a stud finder. Now there's different ways to find those studs in your wall, but this is, these are not very expensive and probably the best method. 
you can tamp with a hammer lightly and when you hit it get to a stud the sound will change if you listen carefully that's not always accurate but most of the time it is I've taken uh, before when I take a small straight pin and drive it into through sheetrock uh, to find the studs that tends to damage your sheetrock a little bit it's not bad but if it's going to be behind what you're installing it's not too bad but uh, like I said the stud finders are not all that expensive and they work much better and that's what I would recommend that you go with now we're out here in our garage and we've decided to install this thing right here and uh, we found that there's a stud right here. We used our stud finder to find the stud. There's one right there. And I'm going to put a screw in this hole. Now, I don't need to use, there's five holes in this thing. I don't need that many screws or wall anchors holding this thing up. But we're going to install five wall anchors so you can see the installation of some of the different types. Uh, so there will be a screw here, and these four over here will be different types of the the wall anchors that are, you know that you put into the wall other than just using the stud. This is where we're going to install it. And I'm going to start with just a regular screw here because we're going to be putting a regular screw into a stud here uh, because it's a little bit easier. I'm just going to put it through the hole in this bracket. And we've already used our stud finder and we found it right there. It's the center of our stud. So I'm just going to put this in here. I'm not going to tighten that down real good tight just yet because I need to be able to do move it around for our other holes for our other wall anchors. Now I've already drilled the holes for this wall anchor and this wall anchor. We're going to put this style in the first one and uh, I've already drilled the hole so I just put it in there like so. You might want to just take a hammer and tap it just a little bit for the bottom of your nut driver whatever. And the second one, I'm going to use this little plastic one. It's typically for sheetrock, but it also works in this thin paneling. Just push it in there like that. Now, we don't have to do anything else to this one, but this one we do have to run the screw in, which is what spreads everything out behind the wall. So I'll go ahead and do that. And when you run the screw in, when you feel it start getting tight, that's when the parts in the back has spread out. And that's as far as you go. Don't try to get it really tight, just pretty good and tight. And that's all you do. Now you take your screw back out. And that's your screw for mounting whatever you put there. In our case, it'll be this. We'll just put that screw in there and run it back in. But we'll need to put our other wall anchors in the wall before we put this in and tighten it down. Now in our next hole, I'm going to use the, well, this is normally a uh, drywall or sheetrock anchor. And in drywall or sheetrock, you can just take your screwdriver, just put it up to the wall and screw it right in. With paneling like this, you do have to drill a hole for it. Um, I don't really recommend these for paneling, but they would work just fine, especially if it's the, the thin paneling like this. If you got the real thick uh, pine or hardwood paneling, don't use this style. But on this thin paneling, it'll work. Just put it up there, screw it into us like that. Now this one, I'm gonna put in the last hole. It's a little bit different. If you put it in there now, you can't tighten the screw down without losing what's on the other side of the wall. So what you do is you take your screw out, put it through your hole, and thread it back in to the part that spreads out. And if I can see it, I'll do that. Okay, now I got it through there. I pull the, the sides together. I hope you can see this. And then I push that through the wall. Could have had just a little bit bigger hole. But I think, yep, there we go. We got it through there and looks like I got it in there. And now I just tighten that down. Just go until it feels snug and you're good. Now this one, this one, and this one, I just run a screw in there and they'll be done. 
Now to finish this up, these three, we just need to run the screw in them and uh, we'll be done. That didn't work too good because the screw was a little bit too big for the hole that was drilled in this. Uh, but we went on in there, one here. That one's done. And this one. And there we go. Now we got all five of our screws in there with our wall anchors. We can adjust these things to uh, whatever spacing we want. And uh, that's definitely overkill, but uh, I know that this thing is never gonna fall down off the wall. In uh, a normal application, I'd probably use this screw hole and that screw hole and just put two good wall anchors there. But uh, you know, you gotta use your own judgment with your wall and what you've got as to how you mount these things. So that's it for our video on wall anchors and how to install them in the different styles. We'd just like to say we appreciate you uh, visiting Do It Yourself with Wayne. We'd really like it if you'd click like on our videos and share our videos and uh, please subscribe to our channel because it helps us out. It also helps you to find our videos in the future. So once again, just thanks for visiting Do It Yourself with Wayne and we hope you have a great day.